Did you guys hear about the story about this customer service representative that starts from the bottom, works his way up, and then becomes the number one customer service rep in the world, becomes a billionaire. This guy becomes a billionaire. And everybody's like, how the hell do you become a billionaire being a customer service rep? Insane. Everyone's asking about this guy. I want to tell you about him. By the way, if you get any value from the video and gets you to think, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. So let's get right into it. You know who the number one customer service representative in the world is that became a billionaire? His name is Elon Musk. And let me tell you why. He is the number one customer service representative in America today. Do you realize how many CEOs in America today are sitting there saying, Elon, don't talk to customers. You're embarrassing me. I never engage with customers on Twitter. Please don't talk to customers. Let us CEOs who hide in our offices and allow other people to engage. I don't want to be exposed that I have to do that as well. Please don't talk to customers. And Elon is saying, so what do you think about this latest feature on, tw on Twitter? Hey, what do you think about on Tesla if we do this? Yeah, that's not good. I heard about the news with the Tesla crashing. I'm not happy about it. Hey, very disappointed about what we did here, but we're getting better. Hey, do you guys like that? Let me run a poll. What do you think about this? We're definitely on top of it. No one engages more with customers than Elon Musk does. By the way, let me bring it on a smaller level so you understand how this simple concept applies to everything you do, no matter how big, no matter how small you are, this works. Since 2002, 2002 till today, I, I ran a system because I read an article about how the Rockefellers would write notes and all this other stuff that they had and how, you know, Clinton, when he ran for office, he wrote 20,000 handwritten notes to become a president. Lincoln was big on writing letters. I'm reading all these presidents, right? Because presidents, you become a president, you're essentially campaigning. Musk is campaigning. Your job as a salesperson, as a entrepreneur, you want to be a manager, leader, you must be on a campaign. Everybody wrote birthday cards, anniversaries, everything was about communication. So here's what I did. Started off with 10 cards a month because I only had 10 clients. And I would say, hey, thank you. Birthdays are only once a year anyway. So you got 10 clients. You got 12 months of odds are one birthday in a month. Maybe you're going to have a couple months that are not going to have birthdays. So I would just send cards to people. And I would call, how you doing? How's everything? This last week, we did a Black Friday. And then we did a Cyber Monday. On Black Friday, I made a call and FaceTiming people for five hours Surprise FaceTime, people are hanging up on me. I would call them, I would say, hey, I'm calling you from American Express, you owe some money to us, and I'm pulling pranks on them, they're cracking up, we're going back and forth, they're laughing, wife starts crying, the husband naked in the shower, picking up the phone, we're having this incredible conversation together. The name of the game to make it to the top of your field, no matter what business you're in, is customer service, customer experience, customer engagement. And most people, when they start making a little bit of money and becoming too famous, they don't want to talk to lower level employees. They don't want to talk to customers. They don't want to deal with them. They say, ah, oh, talking to a customer, that's not my job, that's somebody else's job. And a guy who's worth nearly $300 billion says, you don't call the customers because you're too big, too cool to make these calls. Don't worry, I will. And you know who he's exposing? Everybody, not just Fortune 500 CEOs, not just Fortune 5000 CEOs, Anybody that's in business and in sales, he's shown the world that your number one job as a CEO is to do customer service. So question back to you, how good of a job are you doing with customer service yourself? Are you making those calls? Are you talking to them? If you're not, this is the perfect season to start calling your customers now and just engaging with them no matter what it may be. If you got value from this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I did a video a few years ago titled The Difference Between Customer Service and Customer Experience. If you've never seen it before, click here to watch that video. Having said that, have a great week, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.